Our next patient's day was turned upside down by a bizarre accident. Better. Let's go meet her. We're at Liverpool's Accident and Emergency, where 12-year-old Carmen has a jaw that's giving her jib. What's the problem, Carmen? Um, I dislocated my jaw while eating. Oh, yeah. It is looking a bit wonky. How did you do that? It was lunchtime at school and Carmen was with her friends in the canteen. Gosh, there's a long queue, Chris. I know, Zond, but don't worry, it's moving quickly. For you? But what was she getting for lunch? A triple-decker BLT? Nope. A jumbo pineapple? No, Zond, a bread roll. With a burger in it? No, Zond, just a big, white, crusty bread roll. Oh! And when Carmen bit into it, she dislocated her jaw. Ouch! Are you sure there was nothing in that bread roll? I had butter on it. Hmm, I don't think we can blame the butter. Best get Dr. Shrewd Messerhel to have a look. Can you open your mouth at all? No? Oh dear. That's about as much as you can do. Yeah. I'm just going to have a little look in. And it's clear that her jaw is dislocated, is out of place. And what I need to do is relocate her jaw. I need to put it back into place. Inside your head are 22 bones which make up the skull. And two of them are in your jaw. There's the mandible, which is the largest and strongest bone in your face. And the maxilla. They're linked together by a hinge which allows you to open and close your mouth. And Carmen's hinge has become unhinged. Dr. Shrook needs to get to grips with that sore jaw. I'm going to have to get on top of her almost and push really hard down and back. This may look uncomfortable, but Carmen's had painkillers, so it won't hurt. Ooh. Good girl, good girl. Really Try not to bite me. Yeah, Carmen. She's not a bread roll. Well done. Does that work, Doc? Good girl. Bite? How's that? Better? Yeah. OK. Yay! That's what she usually looks like. How do you feel, Carmen? I feel sick after that because she was, like, pushing and it felt like it was going to crack the all way. And a quick X-ray shows that Carmen's jaw is A-OK. -okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to let you go home. So no big burgers or bread rolls or anything like that. Nothing hard, nothing that you need to really, you know, use your jaw for. What are you going to eat now, Carmen? I don't know. Bread rolls are, like, the only nice thing. Hasn't that bread roll taught you anything? Bye! <laughs> Chris is back at the Ouchmobile. Next patient, please. And next into the clinic is nine-year-old Jessica. So, Jessica, what brings you to the Ouchmobile today? Well, my joints are very fluffy and I've got pseudochondroplasia. What's the diagnosis, Doc? This sounds like a classic case of my joints are really floppy and I've got pseudoachondroplasia-itis. Well, easy for you to say. So let's have a look. Do you want to open the eye? I'll give you a hand. So can you show us on the ouch cam your floppy joints? <laughs> oh, wow, OK, yeah, so they're very floppy, aren't they? I can bend my hand back to my wrist. Back. Wow! <laughs> So you said you've got this thing called pseudoachondroplasia. So can you show us what are the other things that, that go with that? Um, I'm shorter than all my friends. In fact, if I stand next to you, <laughs> that'll be very obvious, <laughs> won't it? Because you're about half my height. And, you, and, and most nine-year-olds would be taller, wouldn't they? Yeah. OK. So pseudoachondroplasia is a, is a medical condition that makes you short because your bones don't grow properly. And that's because there's a problem with one of the genes for this protein called collagen. Collagen's in your joints and it makes your ears, it makes all the soft, gristly bits of your body. What makes my joints, like, bend back really far? I think it's because the way the collagen is produced actually kills some of the bone cells while they would normally be growing. So all of that makes your joints more flexible. Is there anything cool about having pseudoacon replacement? Yeah. Well... When I was younger, me and my friends liked to play hide-and-seek, so I could always hide in smaller places. So you can win any game of hide-and-seek, because yeah. you can get into the smallest place? Yeah. OK, so, Jessica, thank you very much for coming in with your pseudo-achondroplasia. Thank you very much, Dr Chris. That is a real pleasure. Job done for today. Clinic closed. <laughs> I absolutely love swimming. 
and this is a really cool swimming pool. But it's not an ordinary swimming pool, we're in a hospital, and for some patients, this water is like medicine. But we're not going to drink it. This pool is for hydrotherapy, a type of exercise in water that helps people like nine-year-old Jay, who has arthritis. So, Jay, can you tell me why you're coming here? I've got arthritis in my knees and my feet, and sometimes it's sore and stiff. So if you're just running around normally, do your legs hurt? Yeah, yeah. And does it hurt when you're moving around in the swimming pool? No. And is it fun as well? Yeah. Yeah? Treating Jay is physiotherapist Amy Robinson. So Jay needs to exercise to keep his muscles strong and to keep flexible, but why can't he just do that on land? Why does he need the pool? Well, in the pool, because the water is really warm, it's like having a really nice hot bath. It relaxes all the muscles, and that's really good for pain. Because if the water is quite deep, it takes away a lot of the weight on the joints as well. Jay spends half an hour every week in the pool doing lots of different exercises and games. So what's so great about exercising underwater for Jay is that the water provides resistance. Like, you think of how hard it is to move underwater. It's really good exercise, but the water also supports his body, so it's less painful. Keep going, Jay. So all these exercises, they're hard work, but they're quite gentle and soft on the joints. In the mornings, Jay's joints can be so sore and stiff, it can take him two hours to get up and moving, but regular hydrotherapy makes a real difference. So how are you feeling now, Jay? More relaxed, a bit less sore, and it's easier to move around. Oh, really good. Well, look, thank you very much for having me today. High five. <laughs> Did you know that when you're born, you don't have any kneecaps? They don't form until you're three years old. Wow, that's amazing! And so is this. An ordinary gym... ..with ordinary people getting fit. This chap seems to be limbering himself up. Whoa, did you see that? <laughs> this is no ordinary man, Zand. You can say that again. This is no ordinary... I didn't really mean it, Chris. Meet Vitaly, also known as the Twister, and he has an amazing body. Ooh, don't try any of these moves yourself or you could end up being stuck in this position or with a sprain. Uh, I'm not sure how useful that is, but it's very impressive. So what makes Vitaly's amazing body able to do this? Surrounding our joints are ligaments, tendons and muscles all with a protein called collagen in them. And they keep our bones in place like tight rubber bands. His bands aren't tight. Definitely not, because Vitaly has weaker collagen in these tissues, which means his joints aren't held in place as securely as normal, so his bones pop in and out of their sockets easily. And allow his limbs an unusually large range of movement. And his favorite move is the shoulder dislocation, which he can do over and over again as many times as he likes. He's the ultimate body popper. Now that's amazing. Ouch. Now we're getting ouch and about with our mobile clinic. Today, we're at a theme park to help you solve your medical mysteries. If you're anxious about an ailment or curious about a condition, then the Ouchmobile is the place for you. That's brilliant, look at that. Zand is preparing the clinic ready for his patients. And later, he'll be out in the park to answer your burning questions. At the clinic, he's open for business. Can I have the next patient? First in is eight-year-old Zoe with a question about some bendy bits on her body. So, Zoe, why have you come to the Ouchmobile? So I've got a really bendy body. What's the diagnosis, Doc? This sounds like a case of I've got a really bendy body-itis. That's what I'd say. Can I have a look at what you can do? I can like to bend my arm all the way around. Oh, well, I think I can do that. Oh, wait a minute. You're doing a thumbs up while I'm doing a thumbs down? <laughs> wow, that's amazing. What else can you do? Touch my elbows behind my back. OK, I can at least do this one. Are they touching? Are they no. close? No. Oh. 
why do I bend so much and my friends don't? What you've got is a thing called hypermobility. Most of the time, your joints are held in place by things called ligaments, and they're like very tough elastic bands that keep the bones together. Now, those ligaments are mostly made of something called collagen, and in most people, the collagen is quite tough, but for you, it's a bit more flexible, it's a bit stretchier, and that means that your joints can move a little bit more. It doesn't do you any harm, though, but it does mean that you're a bit more bendy than other people. Can I have the next patient, please? Back at the Ouchmobile are brothers 10-year-old William and 8-year-old Callum. So, William, Callum, what if you come to the Ouchmobile? Because we've got bendy, bendy fingers, fingers and, and we can stick our shoulder, shoulder blade, blade out. out. What's the diagnosis, Doc? Sounds like a case of we've got bendy fingers and I can stick my shoulder blade out. Itis! Easy for you to say. So, William, can you open up the eyelid on the Ouch cam? OK, now let's have a look. So, that's amazing. Both Callum and William have got what we call hypermobile joints, meaning they've got a bigger range of motion than most other people do. So, William, can we have a look at your shoulder blades? <laughs> oh, wow. So, put it back and then pop them out again. So, can you do the same thing, Callum? Yes. Have you got any questions about that for me? Why can we do it? The reason that you can do it is probably because you've got very stretchy collagen. And collagen is the molecule that holds your whole body together. It's your body's equivalent, really, of elastic bands. So some people are held together by, if you like, very strong elastic bands. And then you guys are held together by much more stretchy elastic bands. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. William, Callum, thanks very much for bringing your amazing bodies to the Ouchmobile. It was great, thanks. Job done for today. Clinic closed.